Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. A couple of days ago, I had asked you guys on my Twitter and on my Instagram, what are some of your favorite makeup hacks? So today I wanted to test out my subscribers makeup hacks and see which ones are good and which ones kind of flop. I'm really excited about this because I don't think I've seen a video like this. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, please, please, please. But I'm very, very excited about this. And I feel like this could be a fun, unique way to even help people out. There are actually some hacks that I've never even heard of that I'm super, super excited about. So yeah, I mean, I've already done my brows. There weren't really any brow hacks in any of this. So I went ahead and did them off camera and honestly, I don't really have any brow hacks, like, to be completely honest. I'm lucky I can even do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be so bad at doing my brows, but I don't know. I feel like I'm okay now. I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm amazing. Girl, I can still improve, okay? But, you know, whatever. So I have a bunch of hacks right here for you guys. Literally, like, screenshots upon screenshots. So I'm excited to go through them, test some of them out. One of the first ones I want to try that I thought was cool, from Marie Powdardiff, I don't know if I'm saying that right, we have primer mixed with foundation for a quick everyday application, in parentheses, with hands and I thought that that was kind of like a cool idea because I've always thought to mix like my primers with I don't know moisturizer and with illuminators and with stuff like that but I've never thought to mix it with primer so I am going to do that right now I have the ColourPop foundation in shade medium 80 I'm not sure if this is too light for me too dark for me we will see. <laughs> so I am gonna just do a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. I like to use two primers now, and I have a video coming out about why I use two primers, but for right now, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and with the Tarte Quench, and I'm going to add some of that. So. This is kind of the mixture we got going on here. Not sure if you guys can see. So I am going to blend everything together with this foundation brush from ColourPop. And I'm just going to apply it like this. I know she said with her hands, but I don't really like to do that. This also gives you a lot more product. I don't know if that's meaningful to you guys, but when you do mix any type of like moisturizer or whatever, you have it with a primer or even illuminator, it kind of opens up the product a little bit more and you get more product. So this is, so far, like, I may be able to get behind this trick because I'm always looking for ways to kind of move faster with my makeup, especially when I'm running late. So I'm gonna blend this in with a beauty blender. I really am liking the idea of mixing the primers, so that's cool. And I'm just going to blend everything out. You definitely do dilute the coverage when doing this, but she did say for like an everyday use. So I can, for the most part, just from like seeing what it looks like right now, I don't feel like it looks too bad. I can definitely see this so far as like an everyday use type of thing. I think this shade's a little bit too light for me, but we'll just work with what we got. So yeah, for the most part, I do feel like this is a very, very pretty combination. Like it's very, lightweight feeling and also it's not very full coverage like it's it's a really pretty for like an everyday situation so I'm gonna give that one a check mark a ding if you will okay so moving on this one also really intrigued me from Yazo Fizzle on Instagram she said using brow gel on my hair I'm assuming she meant clear brow gel so I am going to find some clear brow gel. Just give me a minute, it's somewhere on this desk. Okay, so I have the brow gel from Milk and I wasn't able to find my clear one. This is the one Haze, so we'll just see how it works, but I feel like this could be amazing for like your baby hairs, kind of like swooshing them in place. Right now I do have a lot of hairspray in my hair, so it's not that I necessarily need a brow gel to kind of keep my hair in place but I do feel like this could be an amazing hack for like 
a day. Oh, that actually worked amazing. That little piece isn't even there anymore. This is a really good idea. You know another hack that I used to do, even before I even got into makeup, was I used to spray hairspray onto like a little brush, and I would put my brow hairs in place, and I did see a couple of people add that as a response to their favorite hacks, and totally it totally totally works I've done it so many times before especially in high school before doing your eyebrows was like a thing because back in when I was in high school I graduated high school in 2011 that was not a thing like to do your eyebrows it was like considered very weird if you did your eyebrows so I would have to say this one passes as well with a little cha-ching action or oops sorry wrong product the brow gel wherever I just threw it on my desk <laughs> Okay, this next hack is from Brinnist, and she has a Kermit the Frog picture, which makes me like her even more. And she says she never sets her eye base anymore. Everything is now pigmented. She just puts the shadow right on. If you know me, I'm very, very, very scared of doing this, okay? This is like a terrifying thing to me but I think that we should try it because she's saying that everything is more pigmented and I know that the makeup artist on Instagram, Mitchell with like a couple M's before his name, I know that I think that, I think that he uses this technique. So I'm really intrigued and wanna give it a go. So I'm gonna go grab an eyeshadow palette that I know works and that I really like just to see the difference between like my wet kind of this going on here and when I powder it. Okay, so I zoomed you guys on in and I picked up my Modern Renaissance palette. I've actually been getting a bunch of tweets lately. I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know why, but I've been getting a lot of tweets lately to use this palette in a tutorial. And I know it's a really good palette and I really, really like it. So, you know, let's put it to the test. I'm slightly concerned, slightly nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna do a very, very quick, intricate eye. Nothing like out of the box. I'm gonna go into the color Burnt Orange and I am going to apply that as a transition shade. And we will see how this goes. Oh, it feels really weird, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like I'm dragging something that I should not be dragging. And you have to use a very, very, very light hand with this. Because if you go in heavy handed, you for sure are gonna get streaks. So I would say that this is not necessarily a beginner hack. I would say it's maybe a more intricate hack. Because even me, like, and I'm not... Uh, listen, I'm not a makeup artist. Like, I did not go to school to be a makeup artist. But I'm experienced with makeup, I would like to think. And I, I don't want to come off as being conceited in any way. But even for me, this is something that I don't do. Interesting. That eye came out a little bit darker. Maybe I'm going to add a second layer. Maybe I was a little bit too light-handed here. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to move on to a different color. I'm going to go into the shade Realgar. Realgar? Oh my god, I suck at pronouncing everything. I really hope there's never like a pronouncing challenge that automatically appears because I would fail. Fail. <laughs> All right, let's go. And I'm going to just plop right on in here. And I'm working a lot lower on the crease. And also, if you get it on your lid, not a big deal. I'm going to cover that up anyway. It definitely brings out the pigment of things. Like, I may try to do this more often because you do get way more pigment. And I feel like it almost looks a little bit smoother. I don't know if I'm crazy for saying that, but like, I, I almost feel like it's smoother looking. And then I'm going to pop some pink into here. So I'm going to go in with Love Letter. And this is my Morphe M514 brush, if anyone is interested. This is is a brush I like to use to distribute either like dark colors or colorful colors anything that's like like a pop I always use this brush for it so let's go in and add this on top of everything the outer corner makes me a little bit nervous just because you know everything is kind of wet and damp in a way so I think that this hack is a win but for the most part I don't think it's a, a hack for beginners because this is definitely something that you are going to need practice with even me I this is my first time literally doing this so I want to take this brush right here and then go into the shade wait is this a shimmer shade no it's not I'm gonna go into the shade golden 
or, oh my god, golden something. And I'm going to just go over the top here and kind of blend it a little bit more seamlessly. Kind of add that warmthness back. And then I think for the whole lid, I'm gonna go into the shade Vermer, Vermeer. Oh God, why do I suck so much, you guys? Oh wait, actually that gray shade next to it is really pretty. I wanna kinda give that a go. But what I'm gonna do is like, since I have like shadow on the lid, I'm gonna take some of the foundation from my brush still, and I'm gonna clean up the area really quick. Just get a better kind of like base going on. It's been a while since I've done an all matte look and especially like a, with a color like this. So I'm gonna go in with Buon Fresco, which is like a gray purple, like a gray purple vibe I would say. And I'm gonna just pat it on. Ooh, that's cool. I'll tell you this much, it definitely makes the colors pop out a lot more, especially like mattes. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I always have a problem with my matte shades like if I apply it to like powder or whatever, like if I set my eyeshadow and then apply a matte shade on top of it for the lid, it always kind of like gets a little eh -er, if you know what I mean, like a little weird looking. I have to like pack on the pigment so much. And this is like one dunk and it's looking really pretty. Okay, I'm definitely gonna say that this works, like, but you need practice with it. So it works to an extent. Cha-ching! All right, so let's do the next one. Okay, we have Rasolkeb. Rasolkeb. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tape for that winged liner look. I'm lost without its guidance. I have done the tape look for shadow, but I've never done it for liner, so I thought, let's try it today. It's a cute hack. Like, it probably does work and could be helpful for some of you guys that are struggling. So let's apply the tape. I think this piece is way too big. And obviously, if you're doing this tape thing, you cannot do your foundation beforehand because you'll take off your foundation. All right, I feel like I need to raise this guy up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I am gonna go in with some liquid liner. Or actually, I'm gonna use some clay paint liner from Tarte, and I'm gonna go in with the brush that it comes with, and I'm gonna use the tape as a guide. This is also a really good way to like make sure that your wing is even, which is what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna just use the guidance. Okay. I feel like this looks crazy right now. <laughs> I don't know if this is helping or making it worse, honestly. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty good. Shit, this thing really deceives you because you're like, oh my god, my makeup's all over my face. Wow, okay, I'm shocked. <laughs> slightly shocked. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take off the tape from this eye. Yes, this looks so good. I did not think that this hack was gonna work because it just felt so wrong. Like, I don't know, but it works, but it takes off your foundation. So you have to do it way before your foundation is on your face and your primers and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually wipe off my face makeup because I just read a really funny hack and I wanna see if it works but it requires me to have no makeup on my face. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right freaking back. This hack is from Eli Durazo or Ellie Durazo, I'm not really sure, or maybe it's just El Durazo. It says, I apply a very intense blush underneath my foundation. At the end, it looks more natural. And I was like, that's like really intriguing to me. So I don't know if she means like she literally puts powder on her face or if she uses like a lipstick. I'm not really sure. I, I feel like putting just powder on my face is gonna feel weird. So I'm gonna use a liquid something or other to uh, do this. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Tatcha lipstick in Twilight and I'm actually gonna apply some moisturizer to my face right now because it feels like a cactus. <laughs> um, I don't know where my moisturizer went. All right, so I'm just gonna use this hydrating primer because I cannot 
cannot for the life of me find my moisturizer. Um, this is from Tarte the Quench. And then I'm gonna just take this lipstick and apply it. I don't know if you guys can see it. So we got our rosy cheeks. And then I'm actually gonna use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. This is like, girl, this has been, I know it says concealer on it, but I've been using it as a foundation and oh my God, so good. So I'm gonna just pop this on all over. And I am gonna just start to blend this into the skin. It definitely does give a rosiness to the area. I don't know if you guys are able to pick it up on camera because the beauty lights, sometimes they tend to wash things out. But I will say it does look kind of cute and like rosy. Don't forget your ears, girls and boys. Okay, so I'm all blended out and honestly, you guys, I'm looking in the monitor and I do not see it on camera, but in person, I promise you there is some rosiness going on. I I don't know why it's not being picked up. It's really frustrating me. I feel like you can maybe see it a little bit on this side, but I can see like what she's onto. So I'm gonna give this like a half check for a hack because you guys obviously aren't able to see it and me in real life I can see it but I don't know I don't I don't know if that extra step is really going to like va va voom everything we'll have to see but I can appreciate the subtle rosiness it does give you in person so this is kind of like a half check like a chi chi not the full chi ching but a chi chi there's a hack here and the username is just like all numbers so I'm not even gonna say it. So basically they're saying that you apply your concealer and let it sit, you don't blend it yet. You let it sit and let it crease and then you go to set it like you blend it out and like whatever. So I'm very intrigued by that so I wanna try it out. I'm gonna go in with the concealers I've been using lately. I have the light medium beige from Tarte. This is the Amazonian clay. 12 hour waterproof. So I am gonna just apply this like so. And I guess let it crease. All right, so we will let that kind of sit for a couple minutes. I'm gonna look through some more hacks here, see if I find anything that I like. Ooh, there's also one that says like if your eyebrows get too dark to use translucent powder. I've never done that, but I've heard of it. So let's give it a go. I have my Tarte Shape Tape powder and I'm gonna use the back of this brush where the spoolie is and I'm gonna just spoolie it through my brows. Oh yeah, that totally does lighten them up. That's a cool hack to know because sometimes I actually do do my brows too dark. So this is a really cool hack to know that like actually works. Oh yeah, that totally. That totally works. And then I guess you could even take like another brush that has a spoolie on it and like kind of brush the additional product through so that way you're not adding like too much powder. But that totally does work. Wow. Okay, Beach. Okay. There's also some hacks here, you guys, that like we know and how I have used on my channel before, like spraying your brush to get a better payoff for shadows, lipstick as cream blush, we've done that before here, dampening a brush before using highlighter, I feel like we know that works really well as well. Someone says warming up your mascara and your bra and I'm very intrigued. What does that do? I guess I'll just put some NARS in between my boobies and I'll just let that warm up I don't really know let's give it a go it's sitting snugly in between my boobs a lot of people are saying and this is like a new hack or new trend I've been seeing on Instagram it says concealer on your lid and look up to see where to cut the crease for me my eyelids are so big and prominent this isn't a hack that would work for me but I do just want to mention it because I have seen it kind of like viral recently all over Instagram so oh my god Brooke Noelle Davis says, just for men, beard dye to tint my brows at home. Dude, should we try that? I low-key want to try that now. Someone goes pretend to know what I'm doing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, so I feel like we've let this concealer sit for a minute. So I'm going to, and I tried to be like, you know, eh, eh, eh. So I am going to blend this out now. 
Okay, and then another hack I wanna do is about baking. So pretty much, let me go to the front of the responses here. Dam.t, who is actually an influencer, I follow him, he's an Italian influencer. He says, letting the baking powder dry until the end and next remove it using Fix Plus. It works so good. And you guys could tell me if I'm wrong, like I don't, the way that I'm interpreting this is that you are letting the powder under your eyes sit and then removing it with Fix Plus. So let's try that now. I'm going to just blend everything out. And a lot of people were saying that they wanted me to test out applying powder with like a damp makeup brush. So not a damp makeup brush, a damp makeup sponge. So I'm gonna do that for y'all as well. Blend this all out and then I'm gonna dunk right on in to my Tarte powder and just apply. So when you do this, you guys, your skin does feel very, very tight. Just, just a little warning. I'm so intrigued by this, like if it'll actually work, especially cause you guys know I have like very dry skin. So I'm interested if this like kind of does something to your dry skin. Okay, for the sake of my dry ass skin, I'm only gonna allow this to sit on my face for like five minutes tops. I'm gonna apply the mascara in the meantime. You guys were saying that this actually warms it up so that you don't get clumpiness. So I'm gonna try and see if that, oh shit, that does make a difference. Wow, boobies, thank you, hunty. Oh my God, that makes such a difference. Wow, who the hell would have known? I didn't even know that. There also were some hacks saying that you can use a spoon to apply mascara or like, you know, put your finger there to apply mascara. For me, what I like to do is just like open up my eyes as much as possible, tilt my head back, and that's kind of a really good way for me to not get mascara on my lids. Wow, I feel like I'm having like a whole different experience right now with mascara. Who would have known my boobies would have came in handy for something? Okay, so this has been on, according to my clock, this has been on for about six minutes on my face. So I'm gonna use, okay, so he said Fix Plus. I have some Fix Plus left, and I'm gonna spray and see if it actually goes away. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to like drench my face to get this to happen or work. Oh my God, it does take it away. Whoa, okay. All right, I'm gonna let my face dry and see what that does. Okay, so the Fix Plus dries and you definitely can still see the residue of the powder. I don't know if this hack was meant to like take away the residue or like if it's, I, I honestly don't really know much about this hack. I'm gonna blend this into my skin though so that it's not like crazy all over the place. But for the most part, I don't know if this hack really worked, if I'm gonna be completely honest. And this is obviously like not to throw anyone ever under the bus, I'm not that kind of person. But you know what, actually, no, I mean, I don't, it did not remove the powder. I mean, if anything, maybe this is like a different way to take the powder off your face. But I can't really say that this is a hack because I don't necessarily know what this does other than like blending the makeup together better. Like I understand that, but I don't, I don't really know. And the last hack I really, really wanna try is applying highlighter after setting spray at the end. I usually always do it before, but then I notice that after I apply my setting spray, it kind of dims the highlight, so I always have to go back in. So I wanna see if there's really that much of a difference like waiting. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera and I'll be back to test out the last hack. Sultry, how you doing? It's been a minute since I've done something like this on my channel. Sultry AF vibes. All right, so I'm pretty much done with everything. I do have like a little bit of like grease oily on my face because I used a bronzer that has like shimmer in it and also it's very, very hot in my beauty room. So I am going to finish off with a little bit of setting spray and then apply our highlighter. Let it dry. Sometimes I feel like I don't get enough in one area. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but. Happens to me. I don't know exactly like how long you're supposed to wait. Part of me feels like 
Maybe you aren't supposed to wait. Like maybe the whole purpose of this is to make your highlight blind a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go right in with my Kylie Cosmetics highlighter and I'm just gonna start to highlight. Oh wow, that does kind of make a difference. I don't know if you're able to tell on this cheek. I always feel like this is my blinding highlight cheek spot. Yeah, that is, that is gorge. Very, very pretty. Don't forget your schnoz. I always like to get like a little bit of highlight above my brow too, like kind of this whole area actually. Oops, sorry. All right guys, so I'm gonna zoom you on out and we'll like talk about our final thoughts here. Oh, I can't do it yet. I still don't have my voice. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, my loves. For the most part, I feel like every single hack I tried works. The only one I feel like was a little bit iffy was obviously the blush, the cheek situation, just because you guys couldn't pick it up on camera. In person, I do feel like it was a really cute glow, but I don't have like proof to show you guys because it's not getting picked up on camera. So I'm gonna say that's a little iffy and also the MAC Fix Plus with getting rid of the powder. I'm not completely ruling that out actually because my under eyes look very, very beautiful actually. They look very beautiful and very bright. So I don't know if something with the Fix Plus has to do with that. So for the most part, this was a really fun video and I hope that you guys learned some tricks and tips and hacks and everything like that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell notification because YouTube is being a little a little finicky these days, okay? A little stingy, if you will. So make sure you subscribe, turn on my bell notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.